I know, man. <laughs> it's good to be back. It is. It is. Oh, well, kind of stings a little, but I'm I'm moving forward, man. Yeah, us too. And uh, you know, even even after a loss, it's uh, right back to it. You know, with uh, another episode of Dogs Off the Leash. Thank you guys for joining us. What up? Yeah, man. I mean, it's like if you look at some of the best teams in the like of recent lore who have made it to the national championship. All these teams, like a majority of them, have that kind of loss where it's like, okay, you came in there and took one. How are you going to respond? And that's what really makes a championship team. You know, it's real easy to play all these easy games. And then you get challenged. It's like it's all about the reaction. So it's like we got obviously got a great team in Florida that we're playing this week. Are we going to be able to bounce back? Yeah, and and that's just the that's territory the of uh, it's just the game of football. Like eventually, especially the way we were playing, we we're making a lot of mistakes. Yeah. We're still a young team. Uh, we finally Very. ran into a defense in Death Valley. You know that just exposed us for what it was and. I think we'll definitely come back, but you know this is one this is one loss on the national scale. It does suck. It it was hard to watch because it just yeah. felt like we couldn't get it together. But you know our goal uh, as a team and as fans is SEC SEC East every year doesn't change. It's our resume is not going to be as pretty, right? But we win the SEC East. I mean our destiny is still our own. We're still in control. So it sucks, but it's time to bounce back in an important game week, Florida week. Uh, for a lot of people, this is the week in their college football season for a lot of Georgia fans. This is, you know, their rivalry. Yeah. They get to take that fall break. A lot of people are off. Actually, I think the university is actually out today. Heads are, kids are heading down to Jacksonville and St. Simons. As we speak, there's going to be some <laughs> damage. There's going to be some property damage tonight in St. Simons, all these dog fans. So, like, this, oh, is a, this is a great weekend, and I don't care what they want to change the name to. This is a this is a oh, cocktail yeah. party for oh, me. Oh yeah, man! You better believe what, it. What are they? What, oh yeah, they did change it to make it more PC. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I get it, but PC principle. I ain't going that way. Nah, man. I'm not going that way. Not at all. You can't, dude. I mean, I think that ha- the fact that we lost and then we not, we had this bye week was kind of a blessing because yeah. you, you're always going to learn way more from you you know when you lose a game mm-hmm. than when you win a game and you know especially the the. It's one thing, you know, as a coach, you can sit there and nitpick. But as a player, it's like, but we won, coach. You know, you know it really hits hard. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be a lot more coachable, really listening, taking it in. You're, you're going to humble yourself a little bit. And the fact that we Everyone had, around you will humble you real quick, too. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I'm sure Jake Fromm's not had... Oh, man. You I, know, people jump off the bandwagon so quick. Yeah. But again, there, we talked about this. There's a lot more factors in this loss than just Jake Fromm. Yeah, for he sure. had a big role to play. Yeah, he played his worst game for sure. I yeah. mean, we watched that one play. There was one play that me and Cheetah rewatched, and we're, like, looking at his reads, and there's three, <laughs> there's three open receivers. Mind you, Terry Goblin's open for a touchdown. Uh, McCole Harmon's breaking for a touchdown. Wide open in the end and, zone. And, standing in the end zone. And then he, his only, he had two guys that weren't open, and he overthrows it to... Holloman way, way where no one could have possibly gotten it. And it's like, dude, like, what are you doing? Yeah, and we'll give him his blame on Kirby. that. Kirby, wow. Yeah, Kirby's like, why? But we talked about Kirby's role as well. Yeah. I, I said, I, we, we talked about it on the way back. Like, I, any game that you lose like that, if you, if you hand the ball off to your field goal kicker more times than you should, mm. and you don't hand the ball off to Fourth your running time. backs mm. as much as you should, man. That's on, that's on you, Coach, and yeah. I, I love Kirby. I, I'm not this type to be like, oh, Kirby, that was a bad game. Yeah. Chaney, you Ch- get some too. Yeah, for sure. Bad offensive play calling. Jake Fromm's not going to the NFL yet. We don't have to showcase him no. in the offense. This four wide stuff, you know, pistol look, it's good. We can do it if we need it. But, you know, why, you know, if you're running the ball so successfully, why force that? That's what I'm and saying. That's what it, and that has got to be the difference this week in the game against Florida, it man. Has to it's be. like, that's, you know, yeah, we have that ability. Like I think, in compared to recent years, Georgia can really open it up, and we got some guys on the edge and our receivers no and some doubt. of these backs. Like we definitely have speed on the edge. But if we're gonna come out there and play spread against the SEC team without like establishing some good play action from the run, then Getting we're just the tight ends involved, blocking, passing. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's like, that's who we are. At the end of the day, we do have a, a even with some injuries, we have a very solid offensive line and like. If it's working, then don't you know? Don't just jump to like these desperate kind of like NFL type passing plays when, 
especially when Jake Fromm is playing like he is like, okay, he's not having a good game. The receivers are dropping passes, but we're running the ball well. It's like if you just look at that, it's like let's at least keep trying to run the our ball well. And yeah. yeah, and I think the bye week will allow us to get back to the basics For sure. as far as our offense. Like, again, get back. we we have to have an identity. This st- We've been able to kind of just cream these – you know, middle of the road teams yeah. with off talent alone. LSU is not one of those in Death Valley when we're not playing our best. Like, right. and, and, and you know, you Joe do. Burrow, man. I mean, I and he balled we, out. Dude, we hate, we hated on him, dude. Credit. This guy, I've seen three LSU games this season. Like this, this one by far for a long, by a long shot. Like yeah. he was playing his best game. Some of those, I mean, he was like a world beater, dude. And I was like, who is this guy? Mm. You know, so and the defensive backs on from LSU too. I mean, yeah, shout they, out. That they was, all played like a great game, and you know that Florida is going to be equally motivated, yep. man. It's not like we're going to go in there and play Florida, and they're like going to you know take a week off against Georgia, dude. They're they're they got whooped last year. They've heard it all season. They're kind of coming ready to play. Their defense is going to be ready to play. So it's like, how are we going to meet that energy? And at the end of the day, we can't get worried about how Florida's feeling. We just got to go in there and make the most improvement. We possibly can. Like, even if we lost the game, as long as we play with – we got to play with more gusto, dude. Like, we can't get away from our identity. I felt like we were just playing soft at times. I really hope that, like, you know, I, I'm not – I don't – I think that we have two great quarterbacks, so I don't really think the quarterback controversy really is there yet. But for – you know, we got to put in Justin Fields a little bit more. I mean, that was the one thing, you know – it's like I understand, you know, if like we got one of these kind of mediocre, learning, middle of the road quarterbacks that hasn't got together yet, and you know, I'm sure Justin Fields is learning a lot, or else, you know, why, you know, they I trust the the coach's decision to start Jake Fromm. He's in there for a reason. But if you got a guy that's obviously shown some explosive ability, shown his ability to make big plays, you know, why don't you put him in? There's several times where Jake Fromm's just taking sacks. He's, you know, he's got to learn to. Throw the ball away. We kind of talked about this, you know. Yeah, he's, it's, sometimes it's that easy, man. Just yeah. throw the ball away. You throw don't have it to take away, a sack. You know, step up in the pocket or, or or take off. But there's, you know, and that's the one thing I know that Fields will bring us is he's got that instinctual. As soon as you're even about to get him, you know, he's gonna be gone. So that's, I'm not saying that uh, start either or, but I definitely think that we need to be playing Justin Fields, especially in some of these situations where he's either a distraction or can really open the you know the field of play up. And if especially if this week, if Jake Fromm is struggling again, if he plays anything like he did last week, put I mean, you know, you don't I, I think it's pretty clear cut that they should have at least put him in more considering how much Jake Fromm was struggling. It's like that it's like almost like they couldn't believe Jake Fromm was having a bad game. And we're all like, yes, he's having a bad game. <laughs> like, you might want to do something now. So, anyway, well, I mean. That's... And, and and that's true. And hopefully this bye week will allow us to make that transition. Yeah. Uh, again, think of it like Auburn last year. We had our deficiencies. Auburn exposed us. And we, you know, we grew from that. We yeah. took a step forward. Hopefully LSU will provide that same spark this year. I tr- I do trust Kirby. I really do. So I think Bama, same thing, man. Same thing. Lost to Auburn. You know, I, I think unfortunately they difference. came back and beat us. But you know, it just goes to show. That's that's how it is. That's yeah. how football works. Hopefully, and, it's, yeah. it's just a game. And for us, Florida, this is a big momentum game. For those of you who uh, keep up in recruiting, uh, we lost our five star running back uh, from Louisiana after the LSU game. Imagine that. Like Makes that's sense. fine. We've been losing some other high-profile uh, targets, but we did pick up, I believe, a safety, Lewis Klein, four-star. So yes, for some of you guys that are doing the chicken little thing, like, calm down. Like, yes, we're going to take some hits, but it's about momentum. Uh, mind you, the early signing is now in December. So this Florida game, this Florida game, Kentucky and Auburn, like, that will really – in my opinion, that's going to make our season. Oh, yeah. So this being a momentum game, like – can Kirby capture that again? All, all we got to do is have these guys on ESPN kind of hyping us back up again. We kind of fell off the train a little bit. Even when we were winning, it just wasn't impressive. Like, other teams were doing more. So, you know, let's go get our shine. Let's go earn it. So, you For know, sure. talk a few, a little bit about Florida and what could be the difference. Uh, they call it neutral. And I guess it really can be a neutral site now. We can honestly say that because Georgia fans, we go. So oh, yeah. it's going to be a big deal. But how point. are the linebackers coming to play? Can we run on a – Todd Grantham defense, will we? Um, you know, I think there's some 
some important similarities between Florida and LSU. Felipe Franks could have a Joe Burrow day. He's he's getting better, and that offense under uh, Mullen, he knows offense. And Todd Grantham, I will say, if anything he can do, the man can call up a blitz scheme. For sure. Okay? He can't stop the run, but he will get after your quarterback. We're having issues with that right now. Will Ben Cleveland come back to help solidify our line? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, good coaches, you know, really, I mean, really good coaches. You got really good players. It's just about, you know, how, you know, going out there and playing the game. So, how, do, how, do, you know, how does Georgia bounce back? This here's the largest cock, the out, outdoor cocktail party. <laughs> and we're going to come down here and we're going to win this game. <laughs> you ever seen Jacksonville on a Saturday in October? It's covered in red sun. So I, I expect <laughs> us to bring our energy down there. For sure, man. I, and a little gator meat. Yeah. I like so. gator meat. Oh, man. That would be that <laughs> It's would be actually good. really good. <laughs> it's actually really good. <laughs> Tastes so. like chicken. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. Imagine that. Man, we got to come in there and just be able to be explosive. Like, come in, make some big plays, really be running. Like, the one thing I would say, you know, we had – our energy was really good on yeah, defense. Yeah, let's do our thing, though. You know, you know that's what I want to say. Yeah, see. like, our energy was really good on defense, you know, last week at fir- in the first half. But we really kind of – I mean – Okay, I understand, you know, you're getting tired. That was really the problem. You know, we can't allow Florida to be able to, you know, go for five fourth downs like we did with Florida because mm-hmm. or against with LSU because, you know, at the end of the day we had good energy. We were playing pretty hot, but that just kind of broke their spirit. They're just, you know, out there way too long. So we gotta be able to like make try to get some turnover turnovers on defense, you know, be able to use the blitz effectively. Felipe Franks, anytime you're playing that dual threat quarterback, you know, we've seen what he can do. We've also seen him play horribly. But let's take last week as a lesson, you know, it's expect him to play his best game. So we gotta come out there. You know, we gotta maybe spy him here and there. So I just really hope that we come out with a game plan to hit him hard. But at the end of the day, it's just about trucking through. I really I felt like Georgia as a team was just untested and beyond just the uh playing a team like LSU, but it's really like, you know, psychologically, you know, you got to, if you start coming in and, oh, you, you know, let's say Florida scores, like we, you know, we just weren't, we were so used to winning that it almost like broke our spirits way too early. Yeah, especially in college football. You know, and I, I didn't like seeing that from our players. And I know that's one of the things where it's like we've tasted, you know, we tasted some adversity on the road. Here it is, you know, that's a great lesson. So I, I think that we, we know we're primed in a lot of ways to come in and hit this game hard. I've seen people like Kirk Kerbstreet talking about a low-scoring game. I just don't see it happening, um, but we'll see. Yeah, we will see. Um, this game is uh, a very uh, history game for both – one, for both schools, and then really just in college football. It's not one of your mainstay, like, rivalries across college football, but in the SEC – Probably the biggest, one of the bigger ones that you'll get. Oh, and sure. uh, Athlon actually put out a, a article a couple days ago, which I thought was really cool. They did a good piece. I wanted to kind of run through some of this history because I know it'll hit both of us uh, at home. So this rivalry actually started. Um, they the two schools disagree. Imagine that. But the rivalry started back in 1904. Mm. Uh, we've actually been playing. Uh, in Jacksonville as the permanent site since 1933. Wow. 75-0, worst series beat or game beating in the series uh, when Georgia actually beat a really young Florida team back in the day. Again, you know, they're trying to call it a different name, but this is the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. That's right. Um, kids, you know, call it what you want, you know, drink responsibly. Be careful. But we out here doing our thing, and we're calling it the name it's supposed <laughs> to be. Yeah, but this, sure. yeah, it is a unique rivalry. Apparently, the uh, this one I didn't – I may have heard it, but it didn't really stick with me. But the award is getting the uh, Okie Finoki or when you win this game. Oh, yeah. So, you know, big rivalry games, they give you whatever. So that was a big one. Steve Spurrier is a big part of this series, as you know, many of us know. Yeah, unfortunately, it hasn't been good for us. But we also have the Run, Lindsey, Run, when Lindsey Scott uh, housed an 80-yard uh, reception. When we were like, I think we were in our own red zone that day. You oh, know, yeah, man. Before, before my time. But, you know, I've definitely seen that one and heard about that one being a Georgia fan. Can't forget the uh... – the touchdown scamper. The scamper, you know, the we, stomp. We all come out there on the sideline. Hopefully, you know, we can get oh, one yeah. of those in early. I'm telling you, and the rivalry at its apex is the rivalry it's best it's ever been. This is actually the first time, I think, since the early 1980s that both teams have been ranked in the top 10 oh, during wow. this matchup. So um, 
if the game wasn't hyped up after LSU, just in general, now both teams are in a good place, right. moving in the direction they both want to be. So this one's really going to derail one of those programs. For sure, man. Just just for the recent future. It's not all said and done. We have a three-way tie with both Florida and Kentucky right now. So yeah. ideally, railing this one off and popping off another three, two, being Auburn and uh, Auburn and Kentucky would yeah. be would be ideal and put Absolutely. us where we need to be. Again, the East is our only should be our only goal right now. The rest will take care of itself. Yeah, I mean we control our own destiny. We just gotta come out there and keep winning, man. And like it's all about the reaction. Hopefully we're we come out there ready to play and we're we're hitting them hard, man. I agree, so, I agree. I'm looking so, forward to it. What's uh you got a final score? Uh final score, man. Um <laughs> I don't know. So the final score for LSU I predicted was close to being right. Except for the team score flip, was different, flip, yeah. Flop. So, um, I don't know. I want to say I'm gonna go ahead and put like a 28. I'm gonna say that we do bounce back. I'm gonna go. Actually, we'll go 31. Rodrigo will kick a field goal instead okay. of running on fourth and nine. 31. Oh, that'd be nice. 24. 31. 24. I think their offense will find a little success, but okay. I trust Kirby. I like our defense I'm to really come, that. you know, to live up to their to their side. So. I do too. I like that. You almost. I was like, man, is he about to say my score? <laughs> no, my bad. Like, That's my score. <laughs> That's my score. That's my score. <laughs> All right, man. I'm gonna say if we come out, win it, thirty-four seventeen. Thirty-four seventeen. Yep. I like that. Uh, so we do have the close early on privilege of you know most people are doing their Halloween stuff this weekend, being that Halloween's on Wednesday. You gonna so. dress up? Um. I might I might do something. I'm not really big on Halloween to you know, be to be honest, but I might I'm, do something cool. I'm not really either, but you know we could both be gator haters cuz I think we already kind of are. I think that would be easy. I'm thinking of a uh, going to have to dress up. I got a, a headset. I got a headset from work. I'm thinking of, you know, pulling a Kirby and just walking oh, around okay. just Take it, Cheney! Take it, Cheney! Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, or just doing stuff like that just Man, throughout the we night. We got to get him into some uh into some some gifs. Yeah. We do, we do got to we got some, some memes. good stuff. Yeah. yeah hey, uh, again, calling for all memes. Any good Florida memes out That's there, right, man? Uh, please feel free to pass those along, yeah, guys. You know, we took a week off. We did, it we was, did. It Sorry was for necessary. The way, guys. We're not trying to be sore losers, but we had stuff going on. So sorry for the way. But yeah, we Life should, we should. Uh, you know, now. in this program, we we can win and have fun. But when we lose, uh, we got to sit back up here in front of these mics and this camera and, and own that too. It's just a game. Of, it's just a game of football. We Absolutely. lost to a, a good team, so no shame, but. Yeah, it hurts, but let's move forward, man. That's right, man. Let's go get this W and we come back. the blood. Come back and, uh, you know, we'll have some gator meat, and then we'll go on these last two tiger hunts and see if we can, uh, you know, not miss the bear on this one. So. Yeah, not miss that bear tiger. Right. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we need reference. Good to see you guys. Really uh, good to see you guys. Off the leash, man. Hey, signing off. We off out. the leash. Peace.